In this video, I'll show you how to fix lag in Roblox. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. The first method I'm actually going to show you is while you're playing a Roblox game. So all you need to do is go and launch a Roblox game. So in this case, I'm just going to go and launch, please donate. And I'm going to go and show you some settings you need to go and change. So here we are on Roblox. So all you need to go and do is pause the game by pressing escape or the Roblox icon in the top left and then it's gonna go and load this menu here. And what you need to do is go and press on settings and then we'll get this screen here. And what you need to do is come down to graphics mode and we're gonna switch this to manual just like so and then you can go out and adjust the graphics quality. So go and lower the graphics quality a bit and then go and see if it makes an impact. And for me, that does go and improve the performance. So I could therefore go and turn it down to improve performance more or I could just leave it there because otherwise the, the quality is gonna worsen. So that is the first method. So the second method is actually just on our computer. So we can go and close off of Roblox for now and all you want to do is go onto your keyboard and go and press on the Windows key in R and that's going to go and open up something called run and run allows you to go and get directly to folders and then all you want to do is type in percentage temp just like so and then press percentage again and then you can go and press ok and it's going to go and launch this folder here now what this folder here is it's a ton of temporary files as you can see i've literally got hundreds here and all of these can be deleted and these are just slowing down your computer um, because they don't need to exist basically so all you need to do is go and select them all so do um control a or you can just go and drag and select it like that i'll just do control a and then you want to go and right click on them just like so and then you can go and press on show more options and we can then go and press delete and then it's going to take a moment as you can see it's putting everything in the recycling bin um, and just sit back and relax and you may get a message about a folder in use if you do just go and press skip um, and it's going to be a few others as well so you have to just go and click skip again and then once you finish the folder is going to be completely empty and it's definitely a good idea to go and open up the recycling bin and go and clear it in there so all you need to do is open it up select all the files that we did we using Control a or just drag and then go and press delete again and it'll be permanently deleted from your computer so for this next fix method, all you want to do is come down to the magnifying glass in your toolbar, just like so, and click on it. And what you want to do is go and search for control panel. So go and click on it just here. It's going to be an official app. And then once you're here, you need to go and click on system and security just here. And then once you click there, you need to go and locate power options. So go and tap on this one. And as you can see, we've got these two plans here and it says choose a customized power plan. Now power plans are basically um, balancing performance and energy consumption. So usually it's probably gonna be selected on balanced and this means it's not gonna max out your performance of your computer because it wants to sort of reduce um, energy consumption. Therefore, go and click on high performance and this is gonna go and favor performance but may use more energy. So if you want to go and reduce the lag in Roblox, it's definitely worth selecting this option here. So for this next method, we're actually gonna go and download a tool called Roblox FPS Unlocker. So this is a great tool if you're struggling to go and get past 60 FPS because if you didn't know, Roblox is actually capped at 60 FPS. So all you want to do is come to Google or another search engine and go and search for Roblox FPS Unlocker, just like so. And then once you've searched, you need to come to the GitHub website here. GitHub's just a host where you can go and host files. Here it is. And then all you want to do is scroll down to assets. You may have to open it up. And what you need to do is go and find the zip file, go and tap on it, and it's going to go and download it. Now, sometimes your antivirus will detect this as a virus but don't worry it's completely fine and Roblox have also commented saying this is completely allowed and you're not going to get banned for this as you can see it does think it's dangerous but I'm just going to go and click keep because I know it's fine and then once you've got it here let's just go and drag it onto your computer and it's important to note that not every download is going to be put in the bottom of your browser if you can't go and find it all you need to do is open up your, your um, file explorer so go and click on it here and you need to go to your downloads folder and all of your files that you download are going to be in that folder there so here is the zip folder and as I said before you may need to go and open up your downloads folder but all you need to do is double tap on it just like so and here it is and then all you need to do is go and double click on this application here this sort of terminal is going to open up and it's saying minimizing the system tray in two seconds and that's all you need to do to open up and then you need to come to the bottom right of your computer to the toolbar and you, it may appear in this row here or you may need to go and click on show hidden icons to view it and then right click on it and then we've got all of these options here so what you want to do is hover over FPS cap and make sure it's selected to none. And that means Roblox can go up to any FPS at once. So then you can go and open up Roblox and see if you see any difference. Honestly, guys, if you're still experiencing lag, it may just be that your computer is not fast enough. So it may be worth trying to upgrade your computer. I know they can be expensive, but maybe you can go and get a second hand one or something like that. And it's also worth trying having an ethernet connection as the lag may be internet related, but it shouldn't be. Unless you've got a high ping or slow internet, we've got a full guide on how you can go and fix those types of issues as well. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. 
peace.